Some say Scotch needs to uh, watch out from Japanese whiskey, but I say every whiskey needs to watch out from Japanese whiskey, even stuff like bourbon. Find out why, stick around after this. Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 24 of No Nonsense Whiskey Reviews. This week we're going to be taking a look at uh, another Nika. We've done two Nikas before, the uh, Nika All Malt and the Nika Pure Malt White Label. Now, um, this one is Nika Whiskey from the barrel, bottled at 51.4%. Uh, this is a 500ml bottle. Now, I know they will, they can do it in 3 litre, but that's, uh, that's another story. That's a load of nonsense, that is. Uh, and we'll come back to why I think this is a good idea a bit later on. Now, uh, for those interested in Nika itself, um, you should go back and check out my other videos where I talk about the distilleries um, in a little bit more depth. But the kind of key information you need to know is that there are two distilleries um, in Japan that they blend their stuff from. This whiskey itself is a blend of some malt whiskey and some grain whiskey. And the term from the barrel comes from the fact that uh, they, before they blended, they took it straight from the barrel blended it uh, and then realised that it was probably quite strong so then they married them together in another cask for around three to six months thus creating a nice strong 51% that uh, should give off a lot of flavours. Now on my intro I said that uh, not only does scotch need to watch out for it but so does bourbon and uh, we'll go into the tasty notes and, and see why. Now, this is a seriously rich colour. I don't know what casks they put this in. And I don't know if it's got added colour. There's, a, there's, there's, a, there's some caramel smells in there, so there's a, there's a chance that there might be some meat numbers in there, but, uh, but don't take my word as gospel. If you want to find out, you can, you can Google that. Now, on the nose, the, I don't get a whiff of that sort of 51%. This could be this could be anything at 40, maybe a bit more. Lots of caramel, fruity, sweety. In fact, it smells like some bourbon so I've, I've had before. Mm. There's some heat there, for sure. I would say it's still quite smooth, something that's over 50%. Personally, I don't think this needs water added to it, but um, some would argue different. It's, uh, it's got a lot of spices, some caramel, maybe even a slight little bit of citrusy orange at the back. Maybe, maybe. Let's have a go. Mm. I think it's superb. It, it really does taste of some kind of stronger bourbons that I've tried. And um, that has to be cask, it's got to be. I, I, I really should have uh, checked out what cask this was in. Now, I said at the top of the show about this being 500ml. Some people don't like that. Um, my One of my previous sneakers was also a 500ml. And I think I said there as well that um, I quite like it because it makes this a lot more affordable. This uh, retails for around 30 to 35 pounds at this size. I was really lucky and picked it up at uh, an airport for like 28, 27 quid, something like that, which I think is a, is a bit of a bargain. Um, obviously when you wrap that up to 700 sil, uh, 700 mil, sorry, um, it's, it go, the price goes up and makes it slightly less affordable. Um, I think that it's going to be good. Now, um, by the looks of it, I'll pick this up in France places again um, because there's a lot of French on the back there instead of Japanese which is good because I can sort of read that although that's just an address let's be honest but um, I I like Nika and I really liked the all malt um, I voted it my personal of the videos I did last year for a blend if it had been the other way around and I've done this one I would have picked this one this is an absolute personal favourite of mine. Um, I've been saving this for review and uh, now I'm going to freely enjoy the bottle and quite happily spend my money on it again. Because for the price, yes you get less, but it's 
you've got to think of it like maybe you're bottle sharing with a friend. For instance, you get something expensive, you have half and half with a friend. Think of it like that, you'll, you will enjoy it, um, especially if you've liked other Nikas before, if you like Japanese whiskey, this is a bit different to something they usually do. And that's why I like Nika, because they're trying different things. They're trying to emulate other things like bourbon. Uh, and with the pure malt white, I believe there was a bit of Isla in there as well. So they're trying to emulate scotch as best they can. And I think it works. There you go, one last look at that. One last taste for me, because I enjoy it so much. In fact, I have to say, I only know I only know of one vlogger who who doesn't like this, uh, and he is the Spirit Safe, a Englishman in Canada. Um, you should definitely check his uh, channel out. I'll put this in the somewhere around wherever. Definitely check him out. He's uh, very knowledgeable, far more knowledgeable than I am, and uh, his reviews are excellent. So yeah, that's uh, my quick review of Nika from the barrel. In my opinion. You should definitely try and get it. Have a look on um, Amazon during the uh, the deals at the end of the year, things like that. It pops up every now and again for something cheaper. Definitely get it in the airport. It will it will help you out because it'll be one of the few that is less than fifty quid if it's in there. And if not, just get it. It's a it's a little tiny box in the supermarkets, maybe, um, and well worth every penny. Uh, and that brings me to the end of the video. So as always, like, comment, subscribe, share, all these things. I'd be definitely glad to have every one of you on. Getting very close to the 200 now, so uh, keep hitting that subscribe button and we'll get there in no time. See you next time.